Good evening everyone, this is Coach Jay checking in from b -Cup Coffee Republic. We're coming in live from the second floor Pioneer Street Market, also known as PSM. We are located inside HMR Park and Compound across um, TV5 along Reliance Street from the city of Mandaluyong. You are joining me for Kapihan Night. This is our Coaching Tuesday. And for tonight, we're going to be talking about predict predictably irrational. We're talking about... Um, Common irrational decisions that you do in life, common things that you know are irrational but you continue to do, decision makings that you know is irrational and you know you shouldn't be doing but you are doing. Okay, so if you believe that you are one person who needs to be enlightened on the things that you normally do but you know you shouldn't be doing and how it is affecting your life, how it is affecting your decision making, how is it decision... Um, this decision of doing things that you know is already irrational is affecting your relationship then tune in it may be a blessing as well to the people you know so please share this out and share this to, to facebook group space up to your timeline and maybe you can share the, the link also to the people you know who will be blessed by this okay so sometimes po kasi, it's just just enough that we share this to our timeline sometimes we really have to tag our friends okay so it, it matters kapag tinatag po natin yung mga friends natin and we tell our friends, friend, this is for you. We're missing on floor, Coach um, Candy, okay, Coach K, Coach Sean, sino pa ba? Si Coach Tin, si Coach, um, nako, sino pa? Celia, si Coach ER, si Coach, sino pa? Clark, okay. So marami pa po kaming coaches dito at po yung mga binanggit po namin, sila yung wala. Okay, we're coming in live and every Tuesday and Thursday we're doing this but on Tuesday, Kapihan Night is where we talk about money, life, relationships, relationship, career, okay, anything under the sun, including the sun. If you are watching this on a replay, if this is the first time that we are meeting and you have never heard of me, you've never um, watched any of my videos in the past, I am Coach A, I'm a certified life coach, and there are two things that I do. First, I empower pop, uh, people um, to stay alive and live beautifully, so obviously, okay, to stay alive and live beautifully, I empower people to get back control of their lives, so many people are out of tune, many people People cannot live beautifully simply because they are not in control and they feel that they have given up the control in their lives uh, to other people, to their work, to their spouses, to their family, and to all other things that they believe are is more important than their own life. And I'm a coach uh, that I focus on bringing back okay, that control into your hands so you have mental um, empowerment to be able to decide uh, for yourself, to be able to decide what is good for you, to be able to decide what are the things that will make your life beautiful? Another thing that I do as a life coach, I represent the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA, here in Manila, and I do Life Coach Certification Program, and we're coming, right now, we're undergoing Batch 12. Okay, Mommy Bell is here. Okay, we're having Batch 12, and the graduation of our Batch 12 is on Saturday, October 27. And we're having another batch. Okay, Batch 30 is up next November. November 3 and 10. Okay, that's gonna be our last batch before our master coach, life coach uh, Kendra Smiley from US will be coming and joining us here in Manila on November 19, 20, and 22. So we will have as exclusive training programs for our certified life coaches. So just in case you wanna have that opportunity to meet face to face the founder, uh, the CEO of our institute that is based in US, please join us for our last certification batch um, here in Manila, November 3 and 10. If you're coming from Region 8, okay, November 8, Region 8 on November 8, okay, Coach, okay, uh, Coach K. Sabala and her family has been doing a great job inviting people from Region 8, especially in Tacloban, in Palo, in their city, and we're inviting you to join us first. November 6, we're doing a Life Coaching 101 class. November 7 and November 8, if you're ready to professionalize your life coaching um, career, we're gonna be there to do life coaching certification program. So, nandito si Mami Bell, si Coach Bell, si Coach Mel. Okay, Coach Candy is also joining me in that 
trip. Okay, so if you have a family member, if you have a friend, if you know somebody from Region 8, and you are believing with us that this is the time to breathe life and to breathe light again. Um, on November 8, they're celebrating or they're commemorating the fifth year, okay, of Yolanda, the incident, the tragic uh, thing that happened to the to the city, to the region. Um, on November 8, on the fifth year, we're believing that life will continue uh, to flourish again. One seed per family. We're believing one family, okay, each in um, in that city, in that region, will start bringing in the light, okay, starting with one person, one life at a time. Okay, so if, okay, if you are, okay, from the region, and if you know somebody from the region, please let them know that the Life Coach Training Institute is coming up right there in the region, and that's going to be our first out of Manila certification program. I'm so excited. Oh, oh. Diba nakakatawa? Mabuhay po ang mga taga Region 8. Alright. Yeah. And we really want to acknowledge the... the the presence of um, everyone in, in on the floor right now who are supporting really our, our trust, our heart to move into Tacloban and start really this program. Coach K, hindi ka nag-iisa dyan. Everyone else in our family, back here in Manila as we missed you, okay, are looking forward to what you have already started in Tacloban. And we're so excited to launch uh, the coaching profession in your region. Okay, Coach K, by the way, will be here on Monday for our time management management class okay so if you are missing coach k coach k will be in manila by monday she's joining our time management class okay if you are interested um, to learn, actually to participate in our time management workshop, it's a workshop. We're starting at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So maghapon po. Normally, this is a workshop that I conduct on a three days, but this time I'm going to brave it through for one day. And if you are interested to join me for that workshop, I invite you to come over and join me for one day of workshop. And my promise to you is when you join our workshop on that day is you will be... Um, having for yourself all the materials, the training manuals, the press mat, the activity, the scorecards, and everything about that. And uh, that is my blessing to you so that you can also teach, you can also share, and you can also uh, do time management classes to your organization. Coach K, I miss you, okay? So, kung kayo po, okay, if you are a person who is believing that you, your family, your organization, badly needed, okay, badly in need, of time management skills, time management um, strategies, okay, action plan to get, get order in your life. Please take uh, take the course, take the workshops on Monday, um, and I promise you'll get everything that you need so you can teach this again for your organization. So see you on Monday. If uh, you want to register and receive uh, receive your slot, zero nine one seven five eight six one six six one, or you can simply message Rizel Sanchez DCAP or Coach A Page uh, just to reserve your slot. Please reserve your slot. Let us know that you're joining. Um, I believe I think on Saturday I'm gonna. Be giving out your assignment okay i will be emailing we will be sending you out some of the initial works that you have to do so you come on monday prepared okay so the hat po na nagpaplano so mama on monday please message Rizel. okay oh ma maliit lang naman okay the assignment is not for me the assignment is for you so when you come on monday you are ready you are prepared and you get the most of your time investment okay so let's proceed okay before I move into discussing about uh, irrational decisions or predictably irrational things that we do in life, I want to take off from reality of relativity. Uh, have you heard of that? Okay. Sabi po kasi nila, when we make decisions in life, it is always relative. Okay. So when we look at do we have money or we don't have money, it is always relative. All right. So you may have money, okay, but if you are buying something that is bigger than the money that you have right now, you say, wala akong pera. Pero may pera ka. Agree, disagree? Agree? Okay, so I, I'm talking about Okay, also. So just so you get to understand, okay. Okay, 
By the way, for those of you who might have read the book, okay, uh, there, there's really a book if you are interested. I'm not promoting the book, but there is a book that is entitled Predictably um, Irrational, okay, uh, by Ariel. I'm not promoting the book, but just in case you are interested. So it's a thick book. It's about 300 pages, okay, just in case you want to read it. Um, well, some of the theories and some of the things that's written in the book will just challenge your thinking, okay. Some of the things there I'm picking up, but not everything, okay. And for those of you who are from the, psychol the discipline of psychology, maybe some of the things are familiar to you. But I'm taking off tonight from a perspective of a life coach. I want to share with people that there are things that we do, there are things that we decide on, there are things that we take around simply because, okay, predictably, we take the irrational route. Predictably, we take the irrational route, okay? And let me give you a couple of examples, okay? So, so immediately, um, I take off. Going back to my example, when you have a money right now, okay? Sino may pera ngayon? Okay. Okay, may pera. So, wag na tayo may pera. But normally, di ba, pag tinanong may pera ka, depende ang sagot, right? So, why? Because may pera ka ngayon sa packet mo. Definitely, hindi ka nakapunta dito kung wala kang pera. Correct? But how many times you've heard people ang lagi sinasabi sa'yo, wala akong pera? But when you hear the word, wala akong pera, you ask the person, pakita nga ng wallet, may pera naman, ba? Come on now. Come on now. When you say, wala akong pera, wala ba talagang laman yung wallet mo? So why do you say, wala akong pera? Relative. Okay. Now, the thing is, relativity is so big. It's so big. You don't really know. Okay? Think about it. Okay? If you have 500 pesos right now, okay, at bibili ka, okay, bibili ka ng kotse, wala kang pera. Correct? So, baba natin ng sobrang baba. mag bowl tip lang tayo dyan. Ang dami ng 500. At sarap, no? Naalala. Oo. Na, paborito ko din po yun. Tama? Okay, so kung kakain lang tayo ng tokneng-neng at kwek-kwek, ang dami ng 500 pesos. Okay, so it's also relative, okay? Uh, if you have 500 pesos, eh, dadalin mo yan sa not expensive, okay? Uh, not expensive beauty salon. 500, you could afford a haircut and medi manicure, pedicure, tama? Okay, pwede pang stretch siya ng spots pa. But there are beauty salon that your 500 is not even enough for you to have a haircut. See the relativity? Okay. So, medyo hirapan natin ng konti. Okay. <laughs> Madali lang siya. Okay. Think about how you value money. Pera yung sinimulan ko, but how much you value money. Gano'ng ka-importante ang pera sa'yo? Importante, di ba? Okay. You imagine, you would travel, you, you could walk, okay, and you would spend a time on bargains. Tama mali? Normal people, tama? Uh, except, I know somebody, I met somebody over the weekend, hindi siya ganon. Pero, on a normal being, kahit mapagod ka, kahit malayo, maglalakad ka, correct? Para sa bargain. Para sa mura. Correct? So, paano yung value ng time? Magkaano yung oras na sinaya mo? Okay. Thought process. Thought process. Maganda yung sagot niya. Depende kung magkano talaga yung oras mo. Let me challenge you. Nag-compute ka ba talaga ng oras mo? Okay. So, medyo mahirap na kasi hindi siya pantay. Sabi nga nila, hindi siya apples to apple. Tama po ba? O, layo pa natin ng konti. Okay? Layo pa po natin ng konti. Assuming you are making a decision, okay, in where to go, two places, okay, two places, yung isa, okay, uh, ano ba pwede? Paris and Jerusalem or Paris and 
baba natin ng konte sabi niya malayo naman masyadong maraming dollar o baba po natin ng konte o ano saan daw Hong Kong and Singapore Pwede ba yun? Hindi, I think ang, magkadug, ang medyo magkapareho ng presyo would be Hong Kong and Malaysia. Mukhang pwedeng magkadikit. Kasi Singapore medyo mas expensive. Hong Kong and Thailand, medyo yan po. Okay. Hong Kong and Macau, o mga ganon, di ba? Okay. Assuming you're given an opportunity and you are being presented all equal, okay? Ito yung may hotel accommodation, may breakfast, may tour, lahat! Pareho ang presyo. Ano pipiliin mo? Hong Kong. Hindi ba dali mag-isip, di ba? Tanyo, hindi kayo nakapag-isip pagad. Okay? Okay. Challenge natin. Assuming, okay, tatlo yung choices. Pupunta ka ng Hong Kong, all expense paid. Pupunta ka ng Malaysia, all expense paid. Okay? Or pupunta ka ng Hong Kong na walang accommodation at walang breakfast sa hotel. Anong pipiliin mo? Saan ka na pupunta? So saan? Hong Kong. Narinig mo yon? Hong Kong. Narinig mo yon? So bakit kayo nakapag-decide agad na Hong Kong? Ah, hindi ba all expense paid din kanina yung Malaysia? Ano, coach? Kita mo na. Yun. Okay, that's what we call the decoy. Kagali talaga ni Coach Trisha. Okay, let me explain what happened. Ay, Tid. Okay, na-miss din kayo ito. Sige, punta po kayo dito. Okay, hindi po talaga ako normal. Hindi ka talaga normal, coach. Okay, explain natin kung anong nangyari. Okay? When you are given, okay, we call it the decoy principle. When you are, well, hindi yun po narinig, no? Pero may mga tao po kasi talaga on floor, may sumasagot, okay? That's the beauty when you're here. Here's what happened. When you are given two options, equally the same, equally the same, mahirap mag-desisyon. Parehong-pareho, di ba? All else valued, mahirapan ka mag-desisyon. A and B, Masakit sa ulo, hindi ka magdidesisyon. Correct? Okay. Pero pag nagpasok po ako ng third option, which is B minus, by default, tatanggapin ng utak mo, B is the best. Better than A. Bakit? Kasi automatic po, nagkaroon kayo ng comparison between B and B minus. Okay. What am I driving out? Many times, The reason why we make on irrational decisions, kaya predictably irrational, it's because when a decoy or something that is something that is introduced to your mind, automatic you are being trapped, you are being directed to make a decision, okay, that is not the best decision. Ay mix na. Nagets mo ba yon, Arman? Parehas, pero kanina, nung tinanong ko, anong pipiliin mo? Automatic sasagot sa inang tao, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. See? Initially, it was Thailand, or, or sabihin natin Thailand and, uh, Mal Thailand and Hong Kong. Mahirap. Parehong-pareho. Tapos nagpasok tayo ni isa. Okay? Hong Kong, walang accommodation. Ano pipiliin mo? Hong Kong. See? Because that's how our brain works. Okay? I'm just setting the parameter Okay, that there are really things that we decide on irrationally. Because ang naabot natin, nagkaroon ng comparison at distinction. Pero kapag parehong-pareho, wala kang makita, hirap kang mag-desisyon. Given everything equal at hindi mahagip ng utak mo kung ano yung difference. So ang normal na ginagawa po sa atin pag tayo ay binibentahan, naglalagay po ng tinatawag na decoy, at kapag nakita mo na yung decoy, magdi-decide ka dito. Ah, okay. Make sense? Okay? Oh, tingnan po. Okay, ready na po ba tayo? Okay. Masakit sa brain? Okay. What I'm saying here is, we can predict 
irrational thinking and decision simply because we are relative being. Ay, Coach Miko, okay. Totoo, totoo po ba na lahat ng tao na naging irrational at some... Totoo po ba na lahat ng tao naging irrational at some point in their lives? Oo naman, hanggang ngayon nga, irrational tayong lahat. <laughs> exactly, Coach Miko, everyone is... Era everyone, actually, I would have to term it. It is not the person who is irrational, but it is the person making irrational decision. Let me repeat that. It is not the person being irrational, but it is the person making irrational decision. That's why as a life coach, I want to show you how you're thinking so when you understand your thought process, you can improve to be able to make rational decision. Ang ganda ng tanong ni Coach Miko. Alright? Are you getting my point? So it's not the person being rash, irrational. That's what we call name calling. That when, when you make um, when you make a wrong decision and irrational decision, and sabi sa atin napaka irrational mo. But thought of truth of the matter, every one of us makes irrational decisions at some point of our lives, because thinking is always relative. Thinking is always relative. All right. Let me give you three examples that maybe will awaken you. This is what they call the cause of zero cause. Number one. Number one, the cause of zero cause. Ano daw po ang cause ng zero cause? Yeah, C-O-S-T, cause, value. The value of zero cause. Ibig sabihin, oh, I'll give it to you at zero. Zero cause. Free o oh, libre. Yung ba yung mga zero cost? Libre. Di ba sabi po nila, there is nothing in this world that is free? There is no such thing as free lunch, right? Okay, so that's what we're gonna talk about. The cost of zero cost. Why we often pay too much when we pay nothing? Huh? 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 Coach E.R. Brent, Nordeline, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us online. If you are able to connect with us, please give me some thumbs up. Please give me some emoji and show me some care and love. Dahil po ang mga kausap ko on floor ngayon ay dubu-dubu na. <laughs> Nag-no-nosebleed. Um, <sighs> Let me repeat. The cost of zero cost. Okay, sino po dito ang mahilig sa libre? Chill lang tayo kayo kasi magkapig kayo. Kulang kayo ng sugar. <laughs> sino po ang mahilig dito ng libre? O alam mo bang malaki ang cost ng mga libre? Do you know that you pay too much when you pay nothing? Go ahead, think about it. Utang na loob. Utang na loob. Exactly the point. Let me, let me, okay, baba po natin ng konti, yung common. Okay. You go to the supermarket. Sino din nagpupunta ng supermarket, taas ang kamay? Okay. Pag nakakita ka ng libre, di ba binibili mo? Binibili mo. Yung mga products na may buy one, take one, or buy, buy this, free canister. Buy this, you get this. Tama, mali. Why is it costly? Sometimes you don't need it. You buy it. Tama? Free taste. Free taste. Tama. You're good. What's the what's the cost of free taste? Eventually, you will buy something that is not part of your regular purchasing. You got a cost. Eventually, you wanted to buy it. You get a free taste? Oh, sige, gusto niya ng free taste eh. Ayoko kasi yan kasi marketing po talaga ako dati. Magagalit ang mga dati kong kasamahan sa trabaho. Di ba free taste? Am I correct? Pag tinikman mo, masarap. Di ba bibili ka? Agree, agree? Connect, connect? Oh, sige na. Oh, sumagot kayo dyan. Yes, Coach A, kasi ang bayad niyan, infinite. Oh, tama ka, tingnan mo. Magkapareho tayo, Coach A. Namiss niya kita dito on floor. Oh, tama, tama. Oh, Ayaw, oh sige, ayaw nyo ng perang usapan. Pag tinikman mo yan, dagdag calories. Dagdag torture. Kasi pag wala kang pera, iisipin mo kung kailan mo mabibili. Oh, pre-taste pa lang ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Tama, mali. Oy, hindi ba kaya nga yung mga kahit, wala pong magagalit ha. 
Those people who offer you pre-tripping, pre-trip, pre-how, ano yung tawag yun doon, umiikot sa mga condominium units. Eh hindi ba pag pumunta ko doon libre, may pagkain pa, may merienda and all. Pag uwi mo masama ang loob mo, sana ako mangungutang. Kailangan ko yung condo na yan. Yes, sorry, sorry. Masarap po yung kape ko. Helen. Yes. Ay, oh, ito ko may salesperson sa harapan ko. Oh. Ah, si? Para sa story, ha? Oo. Di ba kukunin yung free dinner, tapos magbubuk, bibili ng package? O, oh, hindi ko pa sinabi yung brand, ha? O, oh, di ba bawi mo agad yung pinang dinner? Di ba bawi agad yung pang dinner? Ah, ilang bagay po ang nabili ninyo at nakuha ninyo sa supermarket ng nakabundle for free at hindi nyo po ginamit at naalikabukan lang sa bahay. Oo, oh, oh, tapos <laughs> nagpapalit yung brand, tapos kinain mo, tapos yung brand hindi mo gusto. Dahil hindi mo gusto, bibiliin mo pa rin yung brand na gusto mo. Na doble yung gastos, tama? Mali. Tama. Buy one, take one, binili mo. Tapos hindi mo maluto. Nasayang. Nasira. Ilang beses nangyari yan. O, Coach Lorraine. Hello, Coach A. Confusing yung topic. Being irrational depends on the situation, especially when meron ka ng experience or comparison. Oo nga po. Tama. Hindi po siya confusing. Tama nga po. Opo, we are talking about being irrational. Hindi ko po sinasabi na maling maging irrational. I am just telling you that there are really times that we are being irrational. That's the point. Hindi po siya confusing, Coach Lorraine. I am just saying that being a human person, katulad po na sinabi ni Coach Miko, we are gonna be making decisions that are irrational. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. All I'm saying, things happens. Okay? Why am I saying this? Is because, okay, di ba sabi nyo nga po, based on experience, based on comparison, tama po. That's the reason po that I'm saying it happens. And when it happens, okay, we just have to be careful, we just have to be mindful, and we just have to understand that irrational decisions happen out of our experiences. Tama po. Oh, hindi po siya confusing. Kaya lang ayaw po kasi, alam niyo po kung bakit siya nag-sounds eh, confusing? Bye-bye. Okay. I'll tell you. It's okay. I'll tell you kung bakit po siya naging confusing. I'll tell you. Okay. Because the mere fact that I use the word irrational, lumaban yung brain mo. Okay? The mere fact na sinabi ko, it's irrational, lumaban yung brain, lumaban yung thought process mo, tapos sinabi mo, eh kaya ko naman yung ginawa because of this, because of this, because of that. Agree? 100%. That is the reason why I'm making this talk. That when you make decision, we make decision based on things that we know, and yet, kaya nga po siya predictably. Kasi nga, pag ganun ang experience mo, it can be predicted, ganito ang magiging response mo. Kaya po siya predictably irrational. <laughs> exactly. You got it right. Absolutely, Coach Lorraine. Oh, two thumbs up to you. Sandala may coffee ako. Ayan, two thumbs up. Tama. Nakuha mo siya talaga. Okay? Because, kaya siya predictably irrational, irrational things you are doing based on your experiences, because of your mindset, because of your... So we can, I can predict na ganun ka magde-design. Yun po yung sabi nung theory, which I believe is happening. ba? Diba? So, example, when you are offered a free thing, okay, it can be predicted that you will take it. Agree, disagree? Agree, disagree? Alright. Okay, kaya kung inuna po yung the cost of zero cost. Okay? When you are given a free thing, those people who, are, who have created the marketing for that, we know that when we offer you the free thing, you will take it. Okay? So, yung isang guest lang po natin dito, si Coach, um, tamo, talagang coach ang tawag ko sa iyo eh, si Coach Ellen eh, di ba? Kevin, parang love life. Kahit mali pa, pinipili nating pilipili nating irrational dahil mas komportable. Uy, agoy, agoy. O, oh, di ba? Hindi ko nga gustong sabihin talaga yung love life, baka magsara kayong lahat. Po, doon lang ako sa pera kasi mas chill tayo pag pera. Tama po, di ba? 
Para mas madali daw. O, di ba? But what we're saying here is, based on your experiences, based on your previous decision making, we can predict, okay, it can be predicted that you will be deciding, okay, that you will be deciding irrationally. The price tag kasi sets the parameter, the scope ng babayaran mo. Pero pag zero cost, walang boundary. Absolutely. Ang gagaling talaga ng mga coaches dito. Pwede nyo na akong palitan. Galing, oh. I was about to say that. Kaya siya, you pay more when you pay nothing. Because the zero cost can bring you to infinity. Infinity of creating that, ito po kasi yan, ang mas malalim po dyan, when you are accustomed to getting things on a free thing, you would always be settling for what is free. Perfect example, yung utang na loob, habang buhay mong babayaran. Agree, agree? Agree? Tama, tama? Pwede kayong mag-yes? Uh, pwede pong mag-thumbs up yung mga nandyan. Thumbs up po tayo. If you're watching this on, an, um, on a replay via YouTube, oh, click lang po natin yung subscribe button. Actually, dadahanin ko lang po ng konti para makahinga yung mga nanonood. Tama po ba? Sige. Free is one of the most powerful ways to trigger behavior. That's why it's very costly. Anything that is given to you free would always trigger you to make a decision. That, and most of the time, you are out of that control because it, it's already triggering something inside of you. Yes? Yeah. Free lunch, free dinner, free snacks, free course, free training. What else? You come and go. It triggers you to make a decision it triggers you to commit to something. Not I'm saying that all your decisions are wrong when it's free. All I'm saying is we can predict that you will say yes to it. Tama? Tama, tama. No. It's like how many times you get two items you cannot decide. And all of a sudden, there's one item with a bundle product you get the you get this thing because may bundled product siya. You have the idea na mas mura siya. Pero sa totoo lang mas gusto mo yung isa. Pero sayang kasi yung libre. Sige. Tama ba ako? Mag-comment kasi kayo. Pwedeng magsalita. Masakit sa brain o masakit sa puso? Masakit din sa bulsa. Kasi naiisip natin. Yeah. Or it happens to me, no? There, there are times na bibilin mo, buy one, ade, meron pang ano, buy one, take one, bibili mo, tas na, nakatambak lang dyan, di ba? And sometimes you will be forced to cook, you will be forced to do something kasi nabili mo na. So dumagdag yung budget mo. Yeah, think about it. Di ba? O, oh, eto, tingnan natin. Bibili ka ng isang bag, o oh, bibili ka ng spaghetti, o oh, wala pong brand, okay? Pag ginawa kong buy one, take one yung noodles, Okay, tapos kasama nun ay isang sauce na brandy nila. Definitely, bibili ka ulit ng isa pang sauce. O, di ba di mas malaki yung gastos? Tama, Mami Ben? Sige, mga mommies. Oh, facial cleanser. Buy one, take one. Na allergy ka, di ba mas mahal? Kasi nagbayad ka. Tama? Bakit mo binili? Kahit hindi mo pa nasusubukan, buy one, take one ni. Eh. O, bakit ka nag-free trial? Kasi buy one, take one. O kaya, libre kasi tinry mo. And you were part of the experiment. Yes? Huh? <laughs> Tama po ba? And I can go on and on. But I just wanna, I, I wanna, you know, many times, if we cannot absorb the small things, the more we cannot absorb the bigger thing, simply because it's hurtful. Hindi po dahil hindi abot ng brain. Pero dahil masakit. May tama. So doon lang po ako sa mababa. Okay? Yes, Arman, tahimik po tayo. Okay? Another thing that why zero thing is costly is because when we are presented with something that is free, there is no visible possibility of loss. Ito, medyo mabigat na po ito. 
when you talk about um, okay, yung kanina po mga trivia po eh Ito pe, but this is really where life and life altering decisions happens right when we are presented with something that is free something of no value something of no cost immediately our emotions our mindsets our thought process is being triggered to make a decision without looking and without visibility of possibility of loss we take it isn't it yes you're getting the point coach am i you're getting the point that's where the cost okay i have one business person who I have one entrepreneur who came over and he was given he was given an opportunity to invest on one machine on a on a it's like the machine is 150,000 each but was offered at 200,000 dalawa Okay babasahin ko lang po to from Kevin our incoming coach Kevin Okay zero cost serves as a bribe for those who doesn't know that the real value of what they can really afford. Thus creating a mindset that we can have this without any effort. Absolutely. Okay. Mabigat po yan, pero basahin po ninyo mga sinusulat ng mga nasa online natin kasi marami po silang sinasabing mabibigat at mas masakit. Tinadahan-dahan ko lang. <laughs> Alright? Um, sige, kaya po. Kaya ba? Kaya ba? Kaya. Okay, so... Many times when we are presented with zero cost, ako po kasi I always believe that to make money, you have to make money. You pay peanuts, you get peanuts. You pay almond, you always get almond. And that, that's always my value. You get what you paid for. All right. Many times when you are offered, yes po, ang dami talaga nagsasalita. Okay, Coach A. In life coaching, mas marami po silang sinasabi para sa akin. In life coaching, walang in-between dyan. For me, pag free life coaching, it's either you don't value it or it means everything to you. If you value it, the benefits are limitless. So, palaka ka natin si Coach A. So, I have an entrepreneur who um, asked me for assistance. The machine was originally... Um, offered to him at 150,000. One machine. And then he was offered two machines for 200,000. Okay? Plus, okay, free installation. Previously, walang installation. Plus, one year, free maintenance. Plus, one year, free insurance. Will you buy or not? Will you buy or not? Bumili yung entrepreneur. Namutang yung entrepreneur. Ayoko pong sabihin yung machine, baka pong magalit sila sa akin. Alright. I am just, kasi regardless of the machine eh. So bumili, alam niyo po yung ginawa ng entrepreneur? Nangutang. Nangutang, full budgets and all. Now here's the thing. With the two machine requires two telephones. Telephone line. With the two machine requires this, this, and this. And with the two machine, nalugi siya twice. Kasi hindi po lumipad yung negosyo. With one machine, he can start the business. But when he was offered two machine, he thought he can expand immediately in a business that he never had an experience. So nung natalo siya, dalawa din ang itinalo niya. Real experience. Big loss. Big loss. Pero kasi it was presented to him that if you buy this, you've got all this libre, alright? And ang laki ng savings. Remember that? Kinumputan siya ng savings. Pero pagpalo niya ang investment niya, ganun din kalaki. So I'm talking about business now. Okay? Wala po talagang libre. Okay? Correct? Okay. If you have an experience, similar thing with getting things for free and it turned out to be more expensive, I would encourage that you share that in the comments below so the readers can read it later on in life. Okay. Meron pa ba? Okay. Yung nagpapalit ka daw ng brand, kahit hindi mo gusto yung brand kasi may libreng timba. May libreng palanggana. Oh, totoo yun. <laughs> oh, natawa. Di ba totoo? Come on now, come on now. Tapos yung palanggana na butas agad. 
Oo. Tapos, yung quality ng sabon, hindi yun yung quality na kailangan mo. So, bumili ka na naman ng dati mong sabon. O, di ba mas mahal? O, akalain niyo po, magmula sa free taste to investment to sabon sa pagkain, sa kondo, lahat po may tama at may sabit ang libre. Tama? Would you agree with me? O, hindi ko na kayo i-convince. Okay na? O, on my number two. The cause of social norms. I can see, I, Coach Kat, you're there. We miss you. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, the cause of normal social norms. Why we are happy to do things, but not when we are paid to do them. Do you know that there are things that you are happy to pay for, uh, to do for free, but the moment na binayaran kayo ayaw mo siyang gawin. Sige nga, let me challenge you. Can you think of things na gagawin mo siya ng libre pero pag binayaran ka, hindi mo gagawin? Coach Trisha, uh, sige po, kayo pong mga naka-online, what are the things that you would do for free pag binayaran ka, ayaw mo? Sasabihin ng iba, magmahal. Libre lang ang pagmamahal. Pumapag-ibig tayo. Kasi I'm not for sale nga, di ba? Gawain bahay. Absolutely. Diba? If you, absolutely. If your friend just gave birth or your friend is sick, you will go to her house, clean the house, cook for her, diba? At times, do laundry for her for free. Pero sabihin sa'yo ng friend mo, friend, puntahan mo naman ako, I'll pay you 500. Do the households for me. Hold, do the house things for me. Would you do that? Hindi. Perfect example. Sige, ano pa? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, huhulugan mo. Correct. <laughs> Nag-react ka. Oh, eto. Sino po dito pumunta na ng patlak? You know what's patlak? Patlak. Kain tayo. Hindi kain tayo. Tapos patlak tayo. Kanya-kanya dala ng pagkain. Pag patlak masaya ka, tama mali? Gusto mo siya, di ba? Pero sabihin sa iyo, magkocontribute tayo ng 200 per person. Ayaw mo. Pero truth of the matter, mas mahal pa sa 200 yung dinala mo. Oh, predictably irrational. Kahit alam mo mas magastos, pag sinabi mo, pag sinabi mong patlak, kahit mas mahal, gugustuhin ng tao. Kita nyo na? Mas may effort yun. Napagod ka. <laughs> ah. Diba nor Parang normal, social people, diba? Ah. Eto na. Okay. Dinner. O, dinner tayo, tapos sama-sama tayo, tapos pagkatapos mo mag-dinner, sabihin mo doon sa tao, magkano nga pala yung dinner ko sa'yo? Di ba magagalit ka? O, ito na lang. Yung mga nag-volunteer nag, 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 nag to build up the bricks. Diba? Diba? Hindi ko sasabihin yung pa, tayo, makasabihin nyo po, nagpo-promote ako. Mga gumagawa, nagbabayan niya, gumagawa ng mga bahay. Nag-volunteer ka for a day or two to build the house. Tama? Walang bayad. Ikaw pa yung nagbayad to register. Nagpunta ka doon para sa pagkain mo everything. Okay ka. Pero pag sinabi sa'yo, I build the house for this family, walang bayad. Magagalit ka. Or pag sinabi sa'yo, babayaran kita, sorry, babayaran kita for 500 per day. Magagalit ka. May insulto ka. Oh. Isn't it? Think about it, if you are an executive from a company and you are earning a thousand per day and then I'll tell you, um, alam mo, may meron akong kapitbahay, kailangan niya i-build yung house niya. Babayaran ka niya 500 per day. Tulungan lang natin siya. Hindi ka papayag. But if I send out, I have, a, I have somebody here needs to build a house, we have to help them to volunteer. You will come to volunteer without pay. And you will be happy. 
So sabi nga nila, oh, ito na lang. It happens in our company. People volunteer in our company. They're happy. The moment we pay them, they grumble. O tama ba HR? Yeah. There are people who would come here, volunteer, and then we're happy they're volunteering. But we feel that we're not being fair. So we pay them. Later on, they grumble. Why are we paying them little? To begin with, you want to volunteer. When we pay you, you argue. It's because of this. Hindi ko kasi to alam dati. Ngayon alam ko na. People are happy doing things. There are things that people do happily, joyfully, for free. And the moment you pay them, it will lose the essence. Irrational? Yes. Predictably? Yes. The point of volunteering. Oh, sino po dito nag-volunteer sa church? Masaya tayo, Coach Trish? Yes. Okay, pag sinabi kong kakanta ka doon ha, 200 pesos per week. No. Oh, see? Predictably, she will say no. Yeah. And people will say it's irrational because bakit ayaw mo nang bayad? It's because, sabi nga ni Coach Rurin, your experience, your values, correct? The things that are innate to you, innate to human being, and relativity. Yung yun dinidiscuss ko po kanina, rel relativity. Okay? But the thing is, it can be predicted that you will say no. Kaya, there are churches who would start, or organization who would start with a fee for something, it will not fly. Pero gawin mong volunteer works, it will fly. Tama? Okay, so, Kevin, we do things free out of love, but we hate it most when we feel like it's an obligation already. Let me repeat that. Sabi po ni Kevin, we do things for free out of love, but we hate it the most when we feel like it's an obligation. Exactly. That's the point. Why are we are, that's the cause of social norms. Kaya po siya, predictably irrational. It's irrational, but we can predict that simply because we would rather do it for free than getting up, getting paid for doing it. Right? Oh, ito. I have a, I have a friend who cannot understand why the sister, her eldest, their eldest sister felt very bad when they offered for her to take care of their, mo of their mother, sick mother with a fee. Okay. Initially, the, the elder sister is taking care of the mother and there was no issue with it. Later on in life, they felt that she's losing her world, she's losing her life, and she's been taking care of the mother for quite a long time. And so they offered the sister a fee. But it's not a fee. It's an allowance. And it started the whole issues in their family. And my friend couldn't understand. Initially, we're not giving it. But the moment that we give her regular allowance, we give her a regular fee, the more that she started being bitter. I told my friend, because taking care of your mom is being done supposedly out of love. And the moment that you paid for her and give her a regular allowance, she thought it's a work now. And she started to grumble. It's different when you have given her a personal support. It's you have given her a personal, you know, a money out of your love and care for her. But the moment that that money becomes part of her, like salary for taking care of your mom, she despises it already. Esther Ambo said, when you invite your friends and family members to your birthday party and they volunteer to cook, but when you say you'll pay for their labor and services, they prone. Exactly the point. They'll rather do it for free. The cause of social norms. Right? <coughs> call them and tell them, okay, I need some, some people to, call, to cook for my birthday. I'll pay you 500 pesos or 250. They feel insulted. But if you call them and say, can you volunteer and assist me to bring this party for my kid? Gladly they will do it. Clear? Make sense? Okay. On my third. On my third. Okay. I want to share with you the thoughts of keeping doors open. Why options distract us from our main objectives? 
Okay. How many of you here are glad to receive several options when making a decision? If you're looking for a job, how many of you would be glad to have different and several options? When you're starting a business, how many of us will be happy that we have a lot of options? But the more job offers, the more business offers, the more distracted we become. And the more it becomes difficult for us to make a decision, isn't it? Predictably rational? Yes. Now the thing is, why would it become difficult? It's because what we can predict is people don't want to close options. Even if the options are destructions to our main objectives. Isn't it correct? At tahimik po tayo. Exactly the point. But you can... Exactly the point, right? The more options you have, the more difficult. Okay? But why would people love having more options? Because having more options, they feel that they are more in control and the more they can decide. And the more they have so much in their plate. Diba parang ano lang daw po yan, pag sa buffet, bakit po tayo nagbabayad sa buffet when in fact, alam naman po natin, hindi natin siya makakain. At kahit po, at kahit po, masakit na masakit na po yun siya natin, pipilitin natin kasi gusto po natin bawiin. O, binaba ko ng kote, di ba pareho din po yun? Ako din. O, di ba, bakit natin ginagawa yun? <laughs> oh, sige. Sino pa ulit dyan? Kasi coach, there are things we do for free because for us, it's not because it's not, it has no value but because it's priceless. Oh, I love it. Coach K. Kaya nga, coach. Diba? Kaya nga po, the more it's free, the more it's costly. Kasi nga po, pricely. Priceless. The thing of keeping a lot of doors open and a lot of options available to us, really the cost would be on our energy, on our time, and our opportunity to make the appropriate decisions. The more options, the more we spread our thinking process thinly. Mas nahihirapan po tayo mag-decision, okay? At mas nahihirapan po tayo mag-take ng action kasi ang dami. And yet, we want it because it uphold our self-esteem that there are so many options available. And yet, the option is not really helping us because it just distract us and it just keep us off our focus and target. Ba? O, eto na lang po. If you are saving for an out-of-town trip, Tapos ang daming po, out of the country trip. Tapos ang dami pong nag-o-offer sa'yo ng mga murang trip on the side. Ano, ano? Ah, ano gagawin mo? Ah, sabi niyo nung isang coach natin dito, marupok. Yan ang marupok. Tama ba, coach? Oo. Esther, sabi niya, yes po, Coach A. Paano po yung oo kanya ng oo sa offers? Kasi minsan nahihiya po na mag-anonymous mag, no, ng no, lalo na pag-family pag or friend who offered. Oo. Um, Esther, that's exactly my point. Okay? Kaya nga po siya predictably irrational. These are the reasons why we come up with that. So yung tanong mo sa akin, paano? So that I will respond in a while. Okay, sasagutin ko po yan. I am just trying to establish the point that as a human being, as normal as we are, as rational as we are, we make irrational decisions. And I just shared with you 
three things, but I can share more. Okay, and if, even if you read that uh, the book, uh, there's a book that's titled Predictably Irrational, mas lalo po kayong magigising dun sa libro na yon. Okay, so in case you want, um, if you want a PDF copy of that book, you just send a message to Coach A, okay, or to Adet Porto, and I'll send to you a PDF copy. I'm not promoting the book, it's just that if you are interested to read, I can share it with you, okay? Okay, now, jumping on my thoughts, Coach A coming in, okay, what's the point? In life coaching, we always believe that there is the best in every person. In life coaching, we believe that every person have a potential, okay, to rise up from the condition. In life coaching, we believe that every individual have the capability to make the best decision. In life coaching, we believe that regardless of your mental condition, regardless of your emotional state, regardless even of your physical limitations, you can still be the best person whom God have created you to become. All right? That's what we're believing on. However, many times I would encounter people who would give me all this irrational thing. That's the reason why I'm bringing this to the table. Many times people will tell, clients will tell us a lot of irrational things that many times we construed and we believe and we label the person to be irrational. Which I'm saying, the person is a rational being it's just that the person is making irrational decision. So how do we correct that? We cannot correct that. Life coaches, we cannot correct that. Life coaches, we cannot describe, we cannot prescribe. But the thing is, we can help you decide, we can help you decide by allowing you to see that there are decisions that you are making irrationally because of your limited beliefs, self-limiting ideas, okay? When I say limited beliefs, meron pong limited beliefs, ibig sabihin, ito lang yung kaya ninyong maintindihan at that point in time. And the other one is self-limiting beliefs. Ikaw na yung naglimit sa sarili mo. Meron po kasi talagang hindi natin naiintindihan and yung mga bagay na hindi natin naiintindihan. If only you will take time to understand, if only you will take time to learn, if you will toil to get it, you will start understanding it. However, there are things that we know and we understand but we simply limit ourselves. Yun po yung pinagkaiba no limited belief, your limited set of understanding to those limiting self-beliefs that you have for you. Coach A, para kang stamp, tumatatak talaga lahat ng teaching. Sabi po ni Kevin. Hi Kevin, thank you so much. <laughs> diba? So, all I'm saying, batch 13 daw, Kevin, sabi ni Mami Bell. Okay, we're waiting for you. Okay? So, we don't label people. We don't label people for what they do. Okay, that's point number one of tonight's talk. Not because you talk, you do irrational things, you are an irrational being. You can make irrational decisions, but you are still a rational being. And you are capable of making rational choices in your life if only you will be given the right guidance, the right accountability, and the opportunity to learn. Point number two. You are irrational only if you will be stubborn to close your eyes even if you have the opportunity to open it. You are irrational only to the extent that you don't want to learn, that you don't want to relearn, and you don't want to unlearn. Other than that, you remain to be a rational being. And point number three, you are created a rational being no matter what, regardless of what, the physical condition, emotional condition, mental conditions, and whatever happens in the past. You are only limited to being irrational only to the point that you resist to see how life is, how beautiful life is, how beautiful life got to offer things beautifully to you, and how God have created this life wonderfully. You are a rational being. Okay. Coach Candy, we miss you. You are a rational being, so you are capable of making rational decisions. Yes, there's a theory that we can predict your irrational decision, but there is a God who created you to be a rational being. Therefore, you are capable of making rational decisions. Good night, everyone. This is Coach A. See you on Thursday.